So Jiki and I here reporting for duty and last we left off in Rimworld. Uh, we began building some of our kill box, but that's still quite a bit of waste and we still have tons and tons of tons of steel that's over here that we need to be mining out. So, you know, all, you know, good and progressing towards things that we want to do, but it's going to be a while. Ooh, what's this one? This is an actual person. Um, there, there's a way to make this appear without having to click on it, but, and open it up. Uh, let's see, this piece bears an illustration to Ice Drew. Striking compact machinery while mining. Ice Drew is sweaty and dirty from all the work. The work is executed in a heartfelt style. An armadillo in the distance seems to symbolize detachment. This depiction refers to Ice Drew's striking compact machinery. So exciting, you know, you just random mining instructions that you were doing. Needed to, you know, make, needed to definitely make something out of that. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and today build a geothermal generator over here. And we're going to want to, I think it needs to be covered. I think, because I, I don't remember if when it rains, if it shorts the geothermal generator. If it does, it's going to, uh... What's this? A bandit cap opportunity. Gray Prime Minister of this league sends us a, mer a message. Apparently, bandits based in a nearby camp have been raiding their caravans. They've asked us to destroy, which means eliminating all enemies and terrorists. If we succeed, their relationship will improve, and they'll send us a giant TV. Which is, uh, that's fantastic. How far away is it? Because I do want to start doing these world quests soon. Um, I, like I said, I'm just the problem is, is we just don't have any decent ranged weapons. And I really want that. I, I really want to uh, get some, but I don't know we haven't had a good raid come along that's you know gonna allow us to do do that. And seems like we've had a lot of other little issues going around. Um, struck. Wait, we st we have struck on magnet steel. That's fine. I don't really care about more steel because we can more. We'll find more than enough steel. All around. The thing that we're gonna have problem finding is definitely going to be oh they found some up here. It's definitely gonna be the uh, what you call the uh, compact machinery because uh, we don't have a components table and a components table is probably pretty far away. I don't I don't know exactly when it, where it is on the uh, research area. Um, component assembly. So take, we'd have to research the multi analyzer, then we'd have to research that, and that's almost four thousand work steps of research. So that's going to be a long, long ways away. A real long ways away. It's not going to be happening anytime soon. Is none, did he actually start doing some research? Oh, he's already up to 10. I think he's almost... Yeah, he's not far away from being better if he does that. Ooh, a raid? Jump to location. Is that a gun? Yes, in Molotov Cocktails. Where are they going to go? I think they're going to go this way. Um, uh, why hasn't this been built? Oh, dude, this needs to be prioritized, like, right now. Like, build... Cannot... We don't have materials for it? What do you mean we don't have materials for it? All we need is steel components. And... Do we not... Do we not have steel? I don't think we have any steel. Hmm. Well. Um kind of puts us in a, a, a predicament that's for sure that's for sure I'm gonna I'm gonna grab everybody I'm gonna grab everybody here uh, is there how do I do dang it everybody everybody I don't know how to, I don't know what the uh, quick command is to just have everybody come at once um everybody come here first oh well I think everybody's gonna have to come over here, actually. Um, attack this? No, no. I want them to attack. Actually, the guy with the sniper rifle. Well, the, we're gonna have some. They're gonna have some minor burns, probably, from walking through that. That's fine, though. Yes, attack him. Get in melee range. F him up real good. Uh, I want someone to distract this person. Because he's going to throw a Molotov. And it's, 
is probably gonna hit pretty bad. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I mean, I guess we could see where it's gonna land. Uh, definitely move. Ooh. Well, he hit his own. That's friendly fire for him. Which is fine by me, because free sniper rifle is a free sniper rifle. I, I don't really care about uh, the Molotovs that he has. That's fine. And he's probably going to get away. He's pretty fast anyways. Yeah, we're, we're not going to chase him. Uh, so, undraft him. We want to... Trip this dude. Put him out too. Is he? Is he? Oh, he's already working on it. I think. Uh, we want to unforbid that. We want to go ahead and take whatever this is. His go juice. That's the first time. We, that's our first drug. Can somebody put him out? Can I like home zone this temporarily and someone goes and like, puts his body out? I mean, it's fine if he burns up. I just don't want other stuff to catch on fire, which more than likely it is going to catch on fire if we if we just leave it there. There we go. Uh, we should probably home zone this whole area, to be honest. This fire is going to spread too much if we don't. If we don't have to come over here and, and start assisting, putting this fire out, it's going to be a real issue. Hey, everybody needs to get the fuck over here. Like, real bad. Two people are not going to be able to take up. Well, oh, it started raining again. Well, it's a good thing we lived on jungle, and it's a good thing the game actually has ability to, you know, freaking turn that stuff off. Uh, Kena, I want you to go ahead and grab this sniper rifle. It's not the best sniper rifle, but it's, it's decent, right? Like, it's, you got 11 shooting, and what, normal? So that's, it's not half bad. We'll let people collect that over time. Ooh, look, a hat. It's all gonna take time. Has this guy been treated already? No, he's not. Why, why is nobody, wake the, wake the fuck up and treat him? You guys, you're just letting him, like, freaking die out over here? He's gonna die in three hours if he was not treated. Look at that giant neck wound he has. Alright, he's, he's fine now. Severe illness. Uh, he's not actually sick. He's just, he's just hurt. Fire again, huh? Uh, ooh, combat supplier. Hell yeah. Well, it's... Why is it showing him lying? Well, he is in bed and, and sick, like, so that's that's normal. Blood loss severe. You're not, you don't have any blood loss anymore, so you should be fine. Right, go to sleep. Uh, we want to go ahead and... Who is our best social again? I think it, I'm pretty sure it's none. I'm just going to wait for them to wake up. There should be more than enough time then for this. For The combat suppliers usually stick around for a couple of days, so it shouldn't be a big issue. To wait for them to wake up. Uh, break down battery, that sucks. It's a waste of uh, a lot of lost electricity there. Um, so is no longer incapable of walking, so he should be up and at him soon. He's over there fixing that with our very few components. Alright. Um, go ahead and combat, call the combat supplier. See what they got. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm aware of how this works. Oh yeah, an orbital trade beacon. Yeah, yeah. Totally aware of how that works. Let's see. Mm. Assault rifles, change, chain shotgun, a magazine fed full volley automatic shotgun, short range and very low accuracy, but extraordinarily dangerous. That's nice. We definitely can't afford a gun. Not very many though. I, I would, SMG would be nice. But uh, yeah, 600, I mean we can get one. I mean, they're not accepting any of this. Oh wait, we can sell our sculptures. Oh, yeah, get rid of all of them. Sell all these sculptures, so that's 641 there. Exactly why we build these. For a little bit of extra money. Uh, power armor, that'd be nice. But, um, definitely nowhere even close to being able to afford that. Money gun would also be great. I'm thinking... Is there a... There's no... It was that, what's that energy gun called? Uh, the charge rifle? I don't see any charge rifles, so... Assault rifle... <laughs> I mean, this is good. I don't. It's not really low power. I wouldn't call assault rifle low power. I mean, I guess because it has a high rate of fire, kind of matches that. I don't think we're gonna be using pop pump shotguns. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and buy. I really, I really want this SMG. It's really good in close range. 
I kind of want this assault rifle too. And that's, that's two more guns. That's two more guns that we would get, which is, you know, freaking top. Where did that get? Where did that land? Where did he drop that, actually? Uh, yeah, we already are aware of that. I did not see where those weapons went. Uh, we're gonna make this. Is this critical priority or so? Sh oh, there they are. They're right there. Right outside our stockpile. Um, we will go ahead and give that to. Uh, let's let's look at people shooting. Maybe give it to Kai. Anyone else have decent shooting? This does not seem like it. Uh, we'll give it one to Mr. Bass when he gets up, and I think we're gonna go ahead and give. Dang it! Everyone else is pretty terrible at shooting, to be honest. I think I'm gonna give it to Ice True. Yeah, As, I mean, really, there's not there's not anyone else who's actually good at this stuff. But we'll go ahead and give him the SMG. Uh, we'll go ahead and give Mr. Bass once he's or she really is uh, fully healed. We'll go ahead and give it to her, and then everything should be good in that regard. Um, he should all be healing up pretty soon. That neck wound was pretty bad. <laughs> I'm surprised. They were just gonna let her die in bed. Nobody was treating her. Nobody was coming over to you know, save her life. They were just they were they were all cool with it, man. You know, they were all just cool with allowing her to bleed out in there in the medical infirmary, which would have been terrible, because um, losing a person is always pretty terrible. Can't believe that was gonna happen. Well, it's a good thing we noticed because if you know we would have lost the person, especially someone who actually has a passion for shooting. Uh, or interested in shooting, uh, it would have been pretty bad. I don't know if I want to have her keep resting, or because most. I well, we probably should wait until it's full healed. All right, how's it going over here? Ooh, get uh, all these turrets set up. They're nice and powered. I want to go ahead and switch them off though. They, I'm I'm fully aware what flicking does. Yeah, I want to go ahead and, and and flick it off. I don't want to be wasting power on this stuff right now. Uh, solar generator. Wow, great. Everything is just deciding to break down today. That's fantastic. And we're just using up all of our components. Mm, that's exactly what I want to happen, obviously. Where's everybody at? Oh, they're still, they're still doing these small digging projects, or... Ooh, there's still more gold. Yeah, give me that. Might as well just do this, too. Well, at this rate, I might as well just mine out this whole area. Because they, it's... You know, who knows, there could be gold even farther in there, and it's, it's already beginning to get mined out. Just might as well finish off the whole thing. I'm glad there's a lot of steel here, because we, we really do need it, like, really bad. Once this is all going to... The thing is, is we've only gotten, like, halfway through. We still need to put, you know, ones here. I think I'm not going to put any here or here. I'm going to leave those off. Maybe. We might, we might go one more layer up, too. Because I almost kind of want to have, like, if, if a grid comes and we have really good people to, like, kind of tuck them away so the second they walk in, like, we have some plasteel, like, long swords going on, or great swords, or whatever they're called, and have two people who are really good at melee just stand there and start swiping people's limbs off when they walk through. That'd be the ultimate defense. And put them in a really risky situation, especially if all of the uh, gun turrets start going off right then and there, but it can also be very powerful. All right, it would be very powerful. You can't sit there and, and deny and say it, it wouldn't be. What happened? Uh, food poisoning, dude. Not you. You would think by now you would be good enough at cooking that that wouldn't happen. Like you're you're a skilled professional. How are people still getting food poisoning from the people you're, from the people eating your food? Um, yeah, yeah. I'm 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 aware of flammable materials, uh, and I'm aware of my colonists as well. Let's see how it's going. Yeah, our wealth's gone up considerably. From the last couple things that we've bought and you know killed some people took their freaking sniper rifle which is fantastic uh but it is going to this is going to make raids a little bit bigger as time goes on now well more than probably more than a little bit to be honest it's it, it's probably the next race probably going to be like four or five people because we have we have three people we have three people uh we've got three more decent guns uh an lmg an assault rifle and uh why, why do you have a steel mace equipped? You're not even a brawler. But those things in, in uh, a sniper rifle, so that, those are pretty large uh, 
ranged items coming in, especially the sniper rifle. The sniper rifle probably is the most expensive one that we have. So the higher our wealth goes in the colony, if you're not, if you're not aware of this, uh, I don't know if I've explained it or not, the higher the wealth goes, uh, the bigger the battles are, the bigger the raids are, the bigger the things that come. Whenever an event happens, the more severe it is usually. Um, unless, you know, certain events that it doesn't work that way, like obviously cargo pods and things like that, they still increase the, the amount of things that they drop, so it could be a severity in a good way. Um, but mostly when it comes to raids, it's, it's more people, better people, wearing better clothes, having better weapons. Usually. Um, let's go ahead and, and, and research the multi analyzer and do that. Um, do usually what it ends up being. So, let's go ahead. And where would that moisturizer thing majig be? Moisture pump. Very slowly removes moisture from nearby terrain, converting marshes or shallow water into dry ground. Does not affect depth of water. Um. Can I only. Where could this go? Oh, see, so it has to be on land first. So we'll go ahead and put it here. Go ahead and build that and see how that works. Because, you know, more, more freaking dry land is, is great. I would love that to get done. I want to see what it's supposed to take. Some steel comp components, it's not too bad. It's something that we can deal with pretty re easily. It's going to get built right now. Can't wait. I want to see. I wanna, it's probably going to be really slow. Probably. Um, Who's our best builder? Because I do not want this to fail. 8, 9, 10. I, I think Ice Tree is. Yeah. Where is, he, where is he going? To go relax socially? Uh, I don't like that. Cannot work on moist... What? I thought... Wait, why? where's the other two components that we have? Mm, oh, okay, he's holding them. Alright, that's fine. I'd rather that get done than anything else. As long as you don't fail, it's all fine by me. Alright. Uh, so radius... Oh, wait. Radius expands in 8 days and 16 hours? So I don't have to do anything, it's just slowly gonna... I don't have to build another one? Alright. I mean, that's fine by me, it's just slowly gonna expand more and more. I don't think it's gonna affect area, areas that are, don't already have water, like I said. And it said dry, or it said like shallow waters in, in marshes, so... I think one just changed over, it made like a sound. I'm not 100% sure about that. Anyways, oh uh, damn, we have so much food now. This is great. This is really, really good, actually. We do not have a lot of meat, which is fine. It's not like we need a lot of meat or anything like that. Um, let's also go ahead and look at our animals. How are you doing in your training? So, we're going to go ahead and teach a release now. Or do I? Do I want to teach a release? Um, it's probably fine. I just don't want her to attack you know what I might not actually teach a release I think that's that's not I don't want to do that actually I'm going to go ahead and not teach a release but teach a rescue so if somebody goes down um, she can come and, and like drag them to their bed in the middle of battle but I don't think I'm gonna teach release just because dogs aren't very good at fighting they're all right they're like they're probably like mid pack of like animals to, to teach fighting some of the best animals to teach fighting are, are boars are pretty good because they're fast and they eat pretty much anything. You don't have to worry about getting specific types of food to feed them. Um, as well as, well, there's not on this map, but I think they're in the forest region. The bears are super good because they don't eat that much and uh, they're just they're just fantastic. Like They're tanky, they do a lot of damage, they don't eat that much. Like I think they eat like as much as a dog, which is fantastic in-game because you don't have to go broke by spending it. Um, I will never tame a thrombo because I, I learned that thrombos eat like 12 times as much as a dog Which it's like having 12 dogs for like a really tangy animal or like I'm gonna run out of food Which would be terrible. Um, we have a call us idol. That's fine. I mean shouldn't you be doing like bill stuff? Bump this up to like 500 I guess So he has something to do Apparently he's got nothing. I want this stuff to get you know to go away because we have so much crap in here. Maybe I should make another stockpile like outside or something. Or dumping pile to get rid of it. But maybe over here actually. Because this is this is very slowly, slowly disappearing. Anyways, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here for today. And I'll see you guys next time with many more RimWorld episodes to come in the future. I'm Sergeant Kenai. And I'm signing out.